Well, shooters and reloaders, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you for the Hot Lead Zone. And this is chapter 18 on the video series on the Savage Model 11 VT 308 project. Uh, chapter 18 is reading and evaluating the ladder results. But before we go into the ladder evaluation and reading the ladder results, the other range didn't let me show you the shooting, the actual shooting. So here are some real brief clips on the actual shooting at a different range. Plus to clean the rifle every 10 shots and do copper removal every 30. So here's a brief video rundown on that. So here we are at the range and we're here on a Friday where it's less busy. And the advantages of coming out when it's less busy, we can get the best bench there is here. You see, this is local knowledge, but the one on the end here, the bench on the end has two posts to support the wooden bench. And the best one, of course, is th this one here, the number two, which is the concrete. And it has four supporting rods you can't budge that one. You can move the other ones, but you can't budge this one. And as you come down the, the row, they only have one supporting post. One supporting post. One and one. So these, you can actually grab the end of that and, and make the uh, bench wiggle quite a bit. So let's start with a couple of following shots. So now we start shooting the ladder loads and Another 10 rounds, so let's go ahead and clean the barrel again. And we'll run a bunch of patches through there, three or four. Then as always, we'll check the bore for obstructions before we put the bolt back in and then fire another fouling shot. Now we're going to shoot a fouling round, which is this Hornady factory round. But interesting that this seems to be seated a bit farther out than my reloads. And sure enough, I felt a lot of tension when this factory round went into the chamber. And you can actually see the engraving of the rifling on this factory round. So this is a little bit too far out for my rifling. But it's okay, it'll work. So we have our reloads on the right and you can see that the seating depth is a little bit deeper than the Hornady factory round on the left. The Hornady factory round has an ogive that's right there a little farther forward than the ogive of the nozzle bullet that you see there. And that factory round actually engages the rifling, jams into the rifling. 
It's actually seated a little bit too far out for the Savage Model 11 VT rifle. Now the copper remover is easily applied. We simply take the copper remover and put it into the solvent port right here. Soak the patch. And how nice for the company of Bortec to give us a nice applicator. And we just take that patch that's coated with the copper remover and run that into the bore slowly. Now I actually ran four patches like that through the bore. Now we'll let it sit for about three or four minutes and then run some dry patches, patches through there to get the copper out. There's a good look at some of that copper removal that we did today. Every 30 rounds. So you see these four loads here of five shot groups on each one of these has a accuracy node that is actually going from a 1.39 group to a 791 and then it starts opening up again as we approach a maximum charge of 45 grains of 4064 powder with that Sierra 168 grain bullet. So the accuracy improves here and then it starts being lost as we approach maximum. So what's happening is the gun is flexing and the barrel is whipping and the harmonics of what's going on with the barrel are setting up a node of accuracy right about here. It looks like the node is actually a little before this load. So it looks like that load is number two which is 44.4 grains of 4064. So the node is probably right here at 44.3. So we'll load another five rounds at 44.3 and another five rounds at 44.2 and we'll test again. No sense exploring these over here because the groups are opening up. So that'll take care of our Remington Peters brass with the bump sizing to minus 0.002 from the headspace. Now these four groups were shot with the Hornady brass that's fire formed to the rifle and neck sized in the Lee Collet neck sizing die. And of course all the bullets were seated with a Forrester inline bullet seating die, the one that has a micrometer adjustment. So here you see the beginning load of 44.1 grains of IMR 4064. And then that produced a 0 0.890 group. And then 3 tenths increments brought us a very nice accurate load here of 0.458 inches. But then again as we approach the maximum charge here the groups start opening up. So here the accuracy node looks like it might be on either side of the 458. So we already know what the 44.4 grains will, will do. So we'll load five rounds at 44.5 and five rounds at 44.3. And that will give us a more compressed idea of where the ex exact accuracy load is. So we're set there for more testing. Now because of the box that we were using to hold the loads, this one, we only had enough capacity to hold a certain number of rounds. So when it came to doing the Lapua, we had two loads only, one at maximum and one at three tenths grain less than maximum. And the three tenths grain less than maximum, we actually put six rounds in 0 0.690. But the maximum charge opened up. So in order to get 
data on the Lapua factory brass, that's new brass, with the Sierra 168 and 4064 powder, we had to go back to the range and shoot 0.3 less than this one and then 0.3 less than that one to get the ladder. So here's what we did. So load number one here shot Lapua brass and that is a group that's over an inch. Then we shot 44.4 and it opened up even a little more. Then we shot the same one that gave us the .690 and what happened was the after we cleaned the gun right here, we cleaned the gun right after these 10 rounds right here and we shot a fouling round but then when I re-engaged here with a five shot group the first shot hit here and then four shots went into this little group right here which is very similar to the .690 that we had before with the same load of 44.7 grains with the Lapua brass. So it looks like the 44.7 is a good load for factory new Lapua brass with 4064 powder and the 168 grain Sierra boat tail hollow point match bullet. So we're set there probably load some more to to test the bullet seating. So what we're going to do is we're going to load just before and after this 44.7. So we'll load 44.6 and 44.8, two more five shot groups. So we have more testing to do. We're narrowing down the ladder.